these these Fox dampers are awesome. They've got such a rich racing heritage. There's so much technology in these. Um, they're a, a candy store for a dynamics engineer. There's, just, there's so many things in there that I can play with compared to a normal shop. Um, compared to a typical standard shock, we've got twice the oil volume in there, which makes um, heat rejection uh, fantastic, particularly these aluminium bodies and the large surface area they've got. Um, with a, a normal damper, you tend to have a piston stack where you can change the valves and so on, and that's what you tube. Well here we've got, um, unusually for a monotube, we've got a, um, a base valve. That's more typically found in a twin tube damper. Um, and then, so this entire area is full of oil and this is the gas reservoir. Um, what's super special about these is um, the internal bypass technology. You might be able to see there's some holes on the side of the, the tube here. Uh, where are we on this one? There. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are just a straight hole like that one, that's called a bleed. These ones on the side are called bypasses and you may be able to see, it's very difficult, there's shims covering those. They're like lollipop shims. That's another tunable. I can tune the position of those and the size of the orifice. And the free bleed operates in compression and rebound. The bypass is only in compression. So what happens is as the piston comes down, starting from the very top, all the oil has to go through the piston and so we get a very high force. And then as it opens out holes, it gets softer and softer until it gets further down when it then closes them all off again. And if we move up to so this, I'll show you how that affects the, the damp curve. What we have here is uh, suspension travel, and this is um, damper force. So for a fixed damper speed, where I said you start at, the, at uh, the top, you have this very high damper level, and then that drops down to this area, which is your typical um, roundabout curb to a uh, ride condition that you'll have on the road. So it's very low damper forces, which allow this magic carpet ride. As you go further into compression, you start to close off those orifices and build up the damper force until you get right up to this um, area here. And in both directions, it's a little bit like a soft closing cutlery draw. Right? No matter how hard you slam it, and you, you never can get it to smash to the end. Well, it's the same with these. <laughs> um, so in rebound, we have this catch zone to stop it toppling. In this, we have the bump zone to stop it crashing through. And on the next um, round, when you go over uh, more extreme events, I think you'll feel, um, this is where you soak up all the, the the chatter bumps and things like that where you want the wheels to move as quickly as possible but then when you go over the jump it just smooths it out and, and lands nicely. What you've got down here is as you go into compression you don't want it kicking out so this actually holds it down there for a bit and smooths it and keeps the car level. So from a customer point of view it's just a complete eye-opener each time you go over these events. This makes the on-road and rough road really comfortable and this prevents you getting any spine compression or something you could have a normal damper. So absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Um, as I say, the dampers combined with BF Goodrich tyres, which were specially developed with BF Goodrich, the uh, Wayne has been at the, uh, the designer at the quarry, and the wider track, um, lots of rear suspension, and um, long travel soft suspension. The three of those are really what deliver this awesome truck that, to me, to me, I refer to as a four-wheel dirt bike.